In 2007, the U.S. imported a net of 3.7 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. In 2012, the U.S. only imported a net of 1.5 trillion cubic feet of natural gas, even though our consumption increased. This increase in natural gas production is greatly attributed to the controversial hydraulic fracking method. Today I will discuss the hydrofracking process, the environmental impact, and the economic impact. The hydrofracking technique is a technique used by oil and gas companies to release trapped oil and gas from tight rock formations, usually shells. The process involves drilling vertically down to the target formation, just above the target formation, and then drilling horizontally for two to 3,000 feet into the formation. Then a series of explosions are set off to help fracture the formation. Then a mixture of water, sand, and chemicals is pumped into the well at extremely high pressures to further fracture the, the, the rock. The chemicals used are, are to help the oil and gas flow through, through the well. And the sand is used to keep the cracks open, obviously. Sometimes pellets are used, known as propyl, to help prop the the fractures open if you're drilling for oil, not so much for gas. The water is then pumped back out and then the oil can get to be processed. I have a short video that kind of demonstrates how this works. When the well is drilled, multiple layers of cement and steel casing are inserted to create an impermeable barrier between the well and the groundwater. The well is drilled vertically until it nears the shale zone. Just prior to the shale zone, the well turns and horizontal drilling begins. The Empire State Building extends 1,453 feet from base to tip. The depth of a well can be over eight Empire State Buildings. After another cement casing is put in place to ensure maximum system integrity, a perforating device is inserted to create small holes in the casing and the rock. Then, fluids comprised predominantly of water and sand are pumped down into the well bore, creating tiny hairline fractures. Gas trapped in the shale zone is released within the tiny hairline fractures and safely brought up the well bore and to the surface. America has vast amounts of natural gas, which can provide a cleaner burning source of energy for more than 100 years. One of the issues with hydrofracking is the amount of water used in the process. Several million gallons of water are used for each well. Once the water is used, it's contaminated and can't be dumped back into the environment, must be trucked out to a disposal facility. Another issue is the potential contamination of groundwater. Methanes and hydrocarbons can leak, potentially leak back up into groundwater that can cause you know, methane to be in uh, people's water wells and things like that. To show you an example of that, I have actually another one. see some of the hazards that are involved with uh, if you have hydrocarbons reeking into your water, your water supply. All right. This issue is seen in a lot of YouTube videos just like this one, but more often than not the water wells are already contaminated with methane beforehand and you know, not ju just due to natural gas migrating through the water table as it normally does. Well, and gas companies consider this in the planning process and they take precautions. One positive environmental impact is the fact that natural gas is a much cleaner burning fuel source, energy source, than coal, 
and is actually better for the environment. The financial benefits far outweigh the cons when it comes to hydrofracking and becoming an energy independent country. One economic benefit is becoming less dependent on foreign countries for our energy demands. And another benefit is the fact that the U.S. has enough shell plays to provide not only our own growing energy demands, but could export natural gas to other countries for the next 100 years. The development of shell resources in the U.S. has supported more than 600,000 jobs, according to an IHS report in 2012. The use of hydrofracking is a much debated subject in the U.S. Uh, the process of hydrofracking has many hazards that must be accounted for in the planning process of drilling wells, but with the environmental uh, compliance procedures in place, the benefits of the U.S. becoming an independent uh, energy, uh, energy uh, natural gas supplier is quickly becoming a re reality. Remember, not only is natural gas a cleaner energy source, in today's economy, 600,000 jobs is always a good thing. Thanks.